everyone, we are here to do a test between our competitors panels. These are actually gate panels and then our gate panels to compare and show you guys the difference between the products out there and what you're buying. So we're gonna do three different tests. We're gonna hit it with a sledgehammer. We're gonna run them each over and then we're gonna cut them open. We're gonna show you the actual difference of the thickness of pipe that's provided between competitors and ours, okay? So today we've got a Petters gate we actually took this gate down and uh, we're going to utilize it today we've got one of our new heavy duty gates all inch and 5 8 14 gauge material and inch and 5 8 on our competitors but it's going to be 18 to 20 gauge we'll see when we break it open but we also have one of our standard panels over here and these are going to have inch and 5 8 posts with inch and a quarter rails all 14 gauge material okay so to start off we're going to show the difference by hitting it with a sledgehammer this is only a three pound sledgehammer it's not a very heavy duty sledgehammer and let's see what it does to each of these products so i'm going to start over here and uh actually let's start with uh let's start with our standard panel and we're going to see what it does here okay so i'm just going to hit it right in the center between the middle support and the post and we're gonna see what it does right here, okay? So you can see we got a little dent there. Now let's, uh, we're gonna do right here on the competitor's panel and you can see we're gonna go right in between as well. We're gonna see what it does right here, okay? So you can see the difference there pretty good dent now we're gonna move over to our heavy-duty panel right here we're gonna go right in the middle like I said this is 14 gauge um, inch and 5 8 same size thickness of this panel and uh, let's see what it does here on our panel so man you can really tell the difference between our standard our competitor's panel and then our heavy duty panel. So now I'm gonna come, I'm gonna hit it from the from the inside and go out. We're gonna see what, what it does to replicate a kick from a horse, okay? So we're gonna come right here. Say your horse kicked that right there and have a good little dent. All right, now let's do some of our panels. We're gonna do our standard panels. Right in the middle, same spot. Nothing too crazy. You can really tell the difference when we're hitting these things on how, how soft they really are. So now this is our heavy duty panel. I'm hit it right here. And you can really tell the difference. Still got a good dent. I got a good hit, obviously. You can totally tell the difference in this weight as well. This panel is super light. I can lift over my head and throw it. These are definitely heavy panels. All right, so uh, we just got done hitting it while they were standing up. Well, now I'm gonna do a little test with hitting it while it's on the ground, okay? We're gonna start from, from our test previously. I'm gonna go from our competitors to our standard to our heavy duty. What I'm gonna do is just hit it right down on the concrete and see the difference in each panel. All right, here we go, first hit. Okay, you can see that dent there. Okay, then we're gonna go and do our standard panel right here. We're gonna hit it. Got a little dent there and we're gonna do our heavy duty. I'm gonna hit it right here. Oh, let's do a new one. Bad hit. Had a little dent there. You can definitely tell and hear the difference when hitting these panels. Alright guys, now we have a 10,000 pound forklift that we're going to run over each of these gate panels with. Let's go see really how strong our competitors panels really are.
All right, now let's do our standard panel. Let's see what it can do. All right, now let's check out and see how our heavy duty panels compared to our competitors. All right, guys, did you see that? We literally smashed this thing like a pancake. So I want you guys to see the difference of the competitor's panel to our panel. The competitors, you cannot use that panel anymore. That gate is done. But our two panels from our heavy duty to our standard, still usable. They're damaged, they're a little bit damaged. As you can see here, we have a little bit of dents and things, but it would still function great as a gate. And it's gonna last you a long time still. But you can tell the abuse, like literally, this is flat, it's flimsy. Look, this thing just wobbles now. That's not gonna hold up as a gate, and that's unacceptable. This one, honestly, I'm really surprised that our standard panel, how good it still looks. Like, you really can't tell that this thing was ran over as much as it was, and that it was hit with a hammer. They're, they're both usable. You can see the dent here for sure, but guys, that's the difference in what you're buying. 14 gauge versus 18 to 20 gauge for competitors on panels, on gates. All of our products are gonna hold up to our competitors. So super cool, super excited to see. So now I wanna, get, I wanna show you guys, I'm gonna cut these open and we're gonna sh really show you the exact difference between our 14 gauge and uh, 18 to 20 gauge panel, the difference in sizes. And then we're gonna weigh them so you can really see the weight difference to show you how much metal is actually missing from these different size gauges of, of pipe. So. Let's dive into that and uh, we'll show you guys. All right guys, I just measured. Show you, I got 10 inches here. We're gonna do 10 inches on every piece on our standard, on our competitors and our heavy duty. I'm gonna cut it and then we're gonna go weigh it. I'm gonna show you guys exactly what we're dealing with here. guys you ready for this so we're gonna show you standard our heavy duty they're both 14 gauge material competitors panel and that looks like definitely 18 could possibly be 20 but we could measure it see the difference there it's about half the thickness of pipe so that's what you guys want to be aware of seven peaks panels competitors panels big big difference just a quick, just something fun to do. I'm gonna drop it so you can hear the noise, the difference. Well, I'm gonna even, you can hit it. Hear the difference? Okay, it's, it's gonna be totally different. All right, guys, we're in the official weight room. We're gonna weigh these things. Um, as you can see, we cut them all at 10 inches right there. Got 10 inches right there. We got 10 inches right there. So all 10 inches. Okay, so we're gonna start with our competitor. Okay, so we got 9.4 ounces. Okay, so not even a pound and 10 inches. Now we're gonna go to our standard panel. Inch and a quarter, 14 gauge. All right, so we got 12.5 ounces. 
So we got a few more ounces in the inch and a quarter compared to the inch and five eighths. So that's actually quite a bit for the inch and a quarter. And now we're gonna go to our heavy duty right here. One pound, 0 0.8 ounces. Let's do it one more time just to make sure. So guys, that is the difference in the amount of basically metal you're getting between each panel within 10 inches. You're getting way more with 14 gauge compared to 18 gauge and that is why these panels are crushing like pancake and these ones are holding up to everything we've been doing to it. All right guys, now I've got an official reader from Miller. Okay, so this is gonna tell us the actual thickness of pipe, okay? So we're gonna confirm our 14 gauge for our heavy duty. You can see 14 gauge right there. It almost doesn't even fit in here. So it's a little bit bigger. There we go. So 14 gauge, so that confirms 14 gauge. It's not gonna fit in 16 at all. It's a little bit smaller than an eight. So 14 gauge is the, the one, okay? So now let's test. So that's gonna be same with our our inch and a quarter standard panels, 14 gauge, so it confirms that. See how tight that is? Okay, it's not an eighth and it's not a sixteenth. Sixteenth won't fit in there. All right, now we're gonna see our competitor's panel. Start with 18 gauge, it looks like an 18 gauge. Okay, you see that? Let's see if it fits in 20. Nope, so it's definitely the 18 gauge. So that's comparing, we just compared 18 gauge material to 14 gauge and you guys saw the difference so be sure to choose the right panels based on the thickness in a pipe uh, it's really going to save you in the long run hi everyone we just finished up our comparison video of our gates from theirs to our heavy duty and our standard panels we did a test on all three panels of running them over with a 10,000 pound forklift okay that's 10,000 pounds of weight going over these panels it smushed our competitors panels like a freaking pancake ours are still in great shape both our standard and heavy duty did great on that test we also hit them with sledgehammer you can see we got a few dents here and our competitors definitely has the biggest dent in it. Okay, so we cut out a few pieces and uh, we weighed them and we double checked the thickness of gauge. And obviously from our final results, we can see that the competitors were 18 gauge and our panels are all made out of 14 gauge steel. And that is the difference folks of what holds up and what doesn't hold up. As you can see here, the competitors flat as a pancake with the 18 gauge steel, 14 gauge steel. These gates, if I wouldn't have cut them up, would still be great gates, work just fine, nothing wrong with them. Um, but this gate is literally done with, guys. So it's your choice. Which option would you prefer, our panels or the competitor's panels? I think we all know the best route to go. Seven Peaks Fence and Barn. <laughs>